Merci beaucoup, madame, euh, pour vos, euh, vos très gentils mots concernant la danse. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, the organizers, uh, the ADH, but also madame Garcia, for this very kind invitation to participate in this very interesting uh, roundtable. The EU Fundamental Rights Agency is mandated by its founding regulation to provide evidence-based advice, technical assistance, but also expertise to the, EU, to the EU institutions, but also to the member states when they implement EU law with regards to fundamental rights issues. <coughs> Speaking about evidence, but also about robust data on Roma, already in 2009, the FRA published its, its uh, data in focus report uh, based on the findings of the European Union Minorities and Discrimination Survey, which supplied important statistical data showing that a substantial proportion of Roma are affected by high levels of discrimination. Of all the ethnic groups and migrant groups that have been covered by EU MIDIS, the Roma emerged as the group the most vulnerable to discrimination and crime. <coughs> Namely, on average, every second Roma respondent was discriminated against at least once uh, the last 12 months when the survey was conducted. On average, one in five Roman respondents were victims of racially motivated personal crime, including assaults, harassment, but also threats. Ladies and gentlemen, the situation of Roma discrimination has not improved since then. This was confirmed by the findings of the combined surveys that were conducted in 2011 by the FRA in cooperation with the UNDP and the World Bank, as Mr. Chairperson mentioned before. The two surveys interviewed in 11 EU member states in total more than 22,000 uh, Roma and non-Roma providing information about more than 84,000 household members. The Roma that have been interviewed were around 15,000 providing information about 64,000 household members. The results regarding experience of ethnic discrimination remain very worrying for the FRI case, as 12 years after the adoption of the Racial Equality Directive, about half of the Roma that have been surveyed, they said that they still experienced discrimination on their ethnic grounds in the last 12 months. In addition, more than half of the Roma respondents, when they were looking for work, they also experienced, they reported experienced discrimination because of their ethnic, or ethnic origin, being Roma. Such discrimination is unacceptable and incompatible with the values upon which the EU is founded. Regarding the rights awareness and the knowledge of a discrimination legislation, the survey found also that only 40% of the Roma surveyed knew that there is legislation that prohibits discrimination on ethnic grounds when they are looking for a work. Regarding the living conditions of Roma, the results of the survey they provide a very grim picture of the situation of Roma that have been surveyed. The survey results confirm the concerns and the fears that have been expressed by the European Commission in its communication in April 2011 that many Roma face social exclusion, they are marginalized, and they live under very poor economic, socioeconomic conditions. The comparisons with the non-Roma who live in close proximity show significant differences in their socioeconomic situation. What I mean? With regards to poverty, on average, about 90% of the Roma surveyed live in households with an equivalent income below the national poverty lines, so they are at risk of poverty. Housing, about 45% of the Roma live in households that lack at least one of key uh, housing amenities, such as indoor kitchen, <coughs> indoor toilet, indoor shower or bath and electricity. Employment. Equally, the results of the survey are disappointing, as one out of three Roma respondents declared that they are unemployed. As regards now the FRA, looking into the future, 
the European Commission communication of April 2011, the EU framework on Roma integration strategies, entrusted the FRA with three main tasks. First of all, to extend its survey to cover all EU member states, to collect the regularly data on the situation of Roma following the four thematic areas of the EU framework in education, employment, housing and healthcare, and finally to work with the member states in order to develop monitoring methods which can provide a comparative analysis of the situation of Roma across Europe. In response, the FRA developed a FRA multiannual Roma program of action which is based on three axes. First of all, we are going to repeat the surveys at the midterm, that means in 2014, but also at long term, at the end of uh, would be more possible, more probable in 2019, that means before the end of the 2020, in order to provide comparable data to measure progress. Secondly, we will engage between 2013 and 2016 uh, in qualitative research in order to understand what is the best way of implementing Roma strategies at local level. We would like to see what works well, what doesn't work well, and why, at local level always. And uh, I fully support uh, the importance of local authorities, of what Leslie mentioned before. We will engage with a number of local projects and initiatives with key partners, uh, local authorities, uh, the Roma communities, the civil society, and of course the non-Roma. Thirdly, we will work with the member states in order to identify the best and the most effective ways to monitor progress made in a way uh, that can yield comparative uh, results. And, and I would like here to announce that already we had two meetings with uh, uh, member states representatives in the FRA premises discussing issues on Roma indicators, on, on inclusion, but also on data sources. I would like to end my intervention uh, with a wish. I wish and I hope that uh, the research activities undertaken by the FRA, as well as other initiatives as the report that was presented here today, but also other initiatives of the NGOs that are present, will contribute all together to accomplish the aim of the EU framework, which is to make a tangible difference of Roma people's lives. Thank you very much. <coughs>